know, you guys, it is Monday, March 27th, and I did it. I went down to the pharmacy, picked up my prescription, and started HRT. I felt sick to my stomach the whole time, but doing some research on it, you know, at one point, estrogen HRT was evil, just pure evil. And since then, a lot of research has been done, and it is actually it sounds like the opposite. Um, the sooner you start it, the better off you are. And so I'm very hopeful. I'm super hopeful. I am, I'm hearing that I should notice less brain fog within just a couple days. And can you see my, I have my humidifier going, it's like, Ooh, there's clouds. Um, but less brain fog within just a couple days. And that's not my most extreme symptom. It's real. It's real. But the most extreme symptoms for me, <clears throat> the horrible fucking mood swings, uh, my hair falling out and the weight just packing on really fast. So yeah, I'm really hopeful, um, nervous and excited, but this is my journal and uh, keep track of how things are going. And you know, if they don't, if the rewards are not worth the risks, then I will, you know, I'll reassess things as they go. But I'm, again, I'm hopeful. I really, really want to feel better. So you yeah, guys, it's a big day. It's a really big day. Wish me luck. Might be the last winter for me here. but it is never going to end. I haven't even taken the dogs out because they won't go in the snow. But yeah. And if you look at the next 10 days, it is this. Hmm. Spring, where you at, playa? Happy Thursday, you sexy beasts. Hope you're having a great, great day. It is actually my Friday. Very excited. Um, I haven't taken any time off work since the end of the year, so it is really, really overdue. Um, as you've seen, it's snowing like crazy. So it's a great day to stay in and work. Um, I actually, yesterday after I got off work, attempted to go and do one of those um, pottery paint places. Yeah, you know, the ones that everybody makes fun of, the ones that are absolutely packed and you have to have a reservation. Not sure why everybody's making fun of it if they love going so much, but I attempted that it was a fail because I had not made a reservation. I mean, who knew? Well, now I know, and I'm, and I'm sharing that information with you. You need to make a reservation. Um, but yeah, I have the day off tomorrow and Monday, so I feel like maybe tomorrow I will make that reservation and go paint some pottery or take myself out to a movie, maybe a nice lunch, something like that, depending on the weather. Um, and then also, you guys, I work so much and get so wrapped up, I forget what day it is, let alone what the date is. And I just realized today that Saturday is April 1st, April Fool's Day. Um, fun fact, it would have been my wedding anniversary. I don't know if that's a fun fact, it's, a, it's just a fact. <laughs> um, but that is the day that I also celebrate the dog's birthdays. Since I, I don't know exactly when their birthdays are. And I am not at all prepared. I also have Tango here 
um, until Saturday evening. So I think maybe what I'm going to do is uh, celebrate their birthdays on Monday since I have that day off. And again, weather permitting, maybe I'll pack them up in the car and go somewhere fun. Um, maybe take them to PetSmart or something and let them go shopping, get some treats and some toys. Not like they need any more toys, but you know, I love them. So that is my plan there. Um, also, it's been a very interesting week as far as like my mental health and making some pretty, I'm proud of my decisions, some adult decisions uh, about how I'm going to be spending my time. So, um, Monday, I went out on a first date and he was a great guy. We had fun, but he was not, not someone that I would want to pursue a romantic relationship with. And I'm honest about that. He actually took that rejection with so much dignity and class. I give him major props. And a few hours later, he reached back out and he said, hey, I would love your feedback. What was the deal breakers for you? Because I'm always trying to become a better person, as am I, right? So we actually carried on a conversation that day about our honest feedback, but from a place of love and caring, not attacking and dramatic, you know? So neither of us felt attacked or like we had to be defensive. And it was um, really nice to have an adult, healthy discussion um, about these things. The point being, his feedback was extremely valid. Very, very valid. Um, and I'm the type of person, again, like he is, I want to be a better human being, a better friend, a better partner. I want to be someone, you know, a, a good dating partner which I thought I was, but he brought to light that it's pretty obvious that I've been hurt so much that I, I do have um, not even a boundary. I have put up a wall and I don't wanna let people in, like not even the possibility. And he's not wrong. Um, looking inward, I have become that person that I was dating and complaining about, right? Jaded. Um, so I decided yesterday, I, I, I shut down my dating profiles and I deleted the dating apps from my phone and I'm not going to be actively dating. Now, if I'm out in some kind of social situation and I meet someone and we hit it off and we start dating, that's fine. But as far as like dating apps and, you know, just multiple dating partners, I'm not going to do that. I need to work on myself um, so that I can be a better person to date. So, you know, had some more aha moments this week and I'm adulting really hard. I'm actually really proud of myself for doing that. Um, yeah, you know, sometimes we have to, we have to look inward a lot. And that Taylor Swift song, I don't even know what the words are, but basically, yep, I'm the problem, it's me. I am 100% part of the problem part of the problem, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna take a step back and figure my shit out. Um, I am looking for a lot of fun activities and um, a lot of my friends have come, you know, they've come in clutch with some really great ideas, painting pottery being one of them, another one being um, joining an adult kickball league. You guys, and I looked it up and there is such a thing. There is such a thing here in my neighborhood in Utah. I reached out to them today because I don't know how they're gonna play kickball because the season starts in just a couple weeks and it's still big time winter. But I called them today to see if they had any openings on their team and they don't, but they took my name and number in case you know something happens and maybe they find a spot for me. So fingers crossed because doesn't that sound like a blast? Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, like some other ideas. Um, so I'm trying my best to get out, you know, do more things. You know, my focus was to meet people. And I still want to meet people because I love people, but not with dating in mind. 
How's that? I think that's much more healthy, right? Definitely much more healthy. Well, okay. I have some work to do. Looking forward to uh, my last call of the day and calling it a long weekend. Hey guys, I'm in the parking garage. Did I even push the button? Yes, I did. I'm in the parking garage. Um, so I got my nails done. They look super cute. I love a classic red nail. Um, and Tango has actually been okay for a few hours. So I just took all the dogs out and I decided I'm gonna get out for a couple hours. Go window shop, you know, get some steps in and just get out. So come with me. I think I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx. Um, since he's like crapped all over the rugs, I had to throw a couple of them away. So I need rugs. Um, and just look at and see what other fun things they have. That, that's always a fun place to window shop. Um, I just got a great coupon from Ulta. So let me go to Ulta and treat myself to a couple things. But we'll see where we end up. Let's go. to myself in stores but there are people walking around talking to themselves everywhere and they're talking to their cameras or on their phone so <sighs> I love anything wood and I'm eyeballing this Ooh, I like those this story with myself. We need that. I grabbed myself some treats to take home. I might actually eat one in the car. I am hungry. Look how beautiful these are. Carrot, lemon, and then this one is, what did they say, red velvet. Oh my goodness, I am so hungry. <laughs> Got myself a treat, you guys. Yum. I love a carrot cake or a cupcake um, because they're less sweet. And I've said this before, I prefer cake over frosting. Um, also, it reminds me of my mom. It was her specialty, carrot cake. On birthdays, she would make it for people. But, and also, it's carrots, so it's healthy, right? Right, this, this place is really cute. Cafe City Cakes Bakery, and they have a ton of gluten-free stuff. Mm. Oh, and it has raisins in it. Didn't expect that. <laughs> it's really good. It tastes like my mom's. Love it. The only thing I would do different, I'm not a fan of buttercream. So obviously this needs cream cheese frosting. And it is buttercream, but it is delicious. And it is a lovely little treat. Just did my TJ Maxx haul. I'm still actually going to run over to Ulta because I do have a coupon and then I'm going to take my cute little um, TJ Maxx haul home and 
do a little apartment refresh, you guys. Very exciting. I mean, what better way to pick yourself up on, you know, when it's supposed to be spring and it's still midwinter here in Utah. Yum. Well, you guys, I do that every damn time. <laughs> I would do a whole recording and I forget to turn the stupid microphone on. Oh, holy moly. Let's try this again, shall we? Hi. It is Friday. I am back for my excursion. And yes, when I got back, Tango had shit on the carpet again. Yay. <sighs> he goes home tomorrow. It's a thing. It's okay. So I ended up going to TJ Maxx, as you saw. And then I stopped at the grocery because I needed to get some, this is the most random thing, poppy seeds. I am planning on making Molly Ye's, what's it, um, orange juice holla bread because next week is Easter. And I love baked goods. But breads is not one of my specialties, so I want to practice baking some bread, and it looked easy and delicious. So I got that. Very random thing. Um, but so at TJ Maxx, and then after TJ Maxx, I went to Ulta. Had a great coupon. Um, so I got a few things there. So let me show you what I got at TJ Maxx. Again, I already did this, but we're going to do it again. Okay. Most of the stuff that I got, you guys, was like for a cute little apartment refresh, but I got one food item. I guess it's food, drink item. Um, they have a ton of the skinny syrups. So I got the butter toffee syrup for my coffee. Um, and this candle is out. I, I didn't purchase this today. Mahogany teak wood from White Barn. You guys know. But I'm going to put it in the bathroom with uh, this. So my neighbor downstairs has almost the identical floor plan that I have. And um, I was visiting using her, her bathroom, powder room. <laughs> um, and she had this adorable little fo uh, footstool. Um, just across from, you know, from the toilet, right next to the bathtub. And it held like her bath salts and little, you know, little things like that. And I thought, oh my God, that is so smart. So I've been on the hunt for the same type of thing, a footstool. When I was at TJ Maxx, I found this, you guys. It's basically a shoe rack, but it's going to be perfect in that space for like, yeah, bath salts and like extra rolls of toilet paper, some, you know, grab and go towels and some other little fun things that I got today. So, and it was only 25 bucks. Really excited about that. Okay. So first thing I got, and I wasn't even looking for this, but it was, tw this was $20, you guys, this adorable, beautiful, dusty pink uh, sheet set. And it is l like, not linen wash, what's called pre-washed. I was looking for linen. I want linen sheets so badly. They're so expensive, but it's this beautiful ruffle and they are so soft, you guys. And I think going into spring and summer, you know, when it's so hot at night, that would be nice and cool. 20 bucks and it's going to look beautiful with my, um, I don't know what you call that, like rust orange kind of theme that I've got going on right now. And instead of two pillowcases, it comes with four. That was a hell of a steal. So I'm excited for that. And then to go on my little stool, I just got some fun little, fun little things. So I have very sensitive skin and those plastic loofahs sometimes are a little bit too rough for me. So I found a pack of these big old sponges, big old poofy sponges, and they were only, it was only $6. Oh, look, they even have like the little suction cup so you can just stick it to the wall. I didn't notice that until now. That's great. Okay. Six bucks for a pack of three of those. And then I've been on the hunt for some linen spray for obviously the linens on the bed and like the couch and stuff. There's Febreze, whatever, but it just doesn't, it doesn't last. So, and I don't like to purchase scents off the internet because I am pretty sensitive to scents. I'm sensitive to scents. I'm picky. Okay. Um, but I found a couple actually at TJ Maxx. So I got this one, Egyptian cotton. Obviously that's pretty straightforward. Smells like clean laundry, which is what I like. And then I got this, which is a little stronger, but almost along the exact same lines as this. 96, it's called Indigo Petals and Oak. And uh, ooh, it smells really good. You got really clean, you know, like clean laundry, almost a little masculine, which is what I love. So fun fact, people think I'm so strange because sometimes um, if I've had a rough day, 
and I want to crawl into bed and just immediately be just like calm and comfortable, I spray myself with a little bit of men's cologne. I prefer men's cologne scents to like flowery female. Interesting, right? Random. But okay. So I got um, a sugar scrub. Again, I have pretty sensitive skin, but uh, every couple of weeks I, you know, use one of these. And also, I'm not going to lie, I like the packaging. <laughs> it's just clean, simple, you know, I like that. Coconut oil. So I hope it does not break me out. If I use coconut products on my face, I do break out, but not, not normally on my body. So fingers crossed. And then I got this one, um, a shea butter and honey body butter. It's vanilla honey scent. And you guys, it smells so good. So good. Hopefully, again, that it doesn't uh, break out my skin. But we'll see. It smells wonderful. And then um, I love, I love Epsom salts and things like that. So this one is sweated out, mineral rich French sea salt. And it's a detox and recover. And we all know Meg needs a little bit of that, right? Uh, it's ginger and blood orange. It says ginger is grounding and then blood orange is awakening. Hmm, okay, but that's interesting. So I may keep it in the package because I do like the package. I like the colors, um, but I also have a couple jars in there. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But on that theme, and I don't usually use a bar of soap. I just don't. I don't like the way it makes my skin feel, but I think they're pretty and they smell good. And this one has like a wax seal pressed into it, you know, like those old school European. Yes, and it smells delicious. It's the blood orange bar of soap. And who knows, maybe I'll have a guest sometime who prefers bar soap, but that's just pretty and decorative, I think. So I, that's what I got at TJ Maxx. You guys spent about a hundred bucks, but for all of this stuff for, a, for a, a, you know, a, a spring refresh, I'm pretty excited about it. And then you saw that I stopped at that cute little bakery next door, which I didn't even know was there. Um, I actually loved how many gluten-free options they had. And I talked to the young man who was running the store at the time and asked him what his favorite item was in the shop. And he said it was a gluten-free cinnamon roll. Who knew, you know? So I grabbed a couple more cupcakes to have as a treat. And then I went to Ulta and treated myself to a, a few other things. Now, you guys, can anybody tell me what's going on with like Sephora and Ulta? There's stock. There's like nothing in stock. And I mean, we're talking hardly anything. It's very frustrating. I mean, I know, are we still on that whole supply chain issue thing? I don't think so. I don't know. But I did find a few things that hopefully will be fun. I am a fan of the Ordinary products, um, and I'm super excited that Ulta has started to carry them. I wish they had all of them, but you know. Um, so I got this multi-peptide eye serum. Going to try that. And then I got, so you guys, I'm not, I have a ton though. I have drawers and drawers full of lipsticks, but I feel very conspicuous when I wear lipsticks. It makes me feel really, just really strange and it gets all over my teeth and I hate that. So I'm definitely a lip gloss person. Um, my current favorites are everything ColourPop. Like I have these ColourPop So Juicy lip glosses because they're plumping everywhere. Obviously they're right here in the kitchen. They're in my desk. They're next to my bed. They're in my purse. They're in my car. They are everywhere. But I'm going to try this one. This is, I, do you say NYX or NYX? I call it NYX. It could be wrong. I don't know. But it is called Fat Oil, and the color is Newsfeed. And I'm hoping that it's just, you know, a glossy with a little bit of color, because I need a little bit of color so that I don't look like a corpse. So I got that. And then the biggest problem with Sephora and Ulta, there's no eyeshadow palettes. And that's like my favorite thing, you guys. It's a problem. I have drawers and drawers full of eyeshadow palettes. And I'm always looking for like a one and done type eyeshadow, you know, that I can put on my lid as well, use it as a liner and just be like poop, poop and good to go. I have yet to find that. Um, I do love matte colors, but I also love a shimmer, not glitter. And I find that most shimmers are way too glittery. So I'm pretty picky. 
but I picked up um, a couple. I, I love Morphe, and they had stock. <laughs> Not going to lie. So I got this um, Morphe. It's called Luminarius. Is there a particular color? Nope, it just says Luminarius. And it's very neutral, but I liked the colors, and I also liked that the shimmers were not very glittery. And I found this little one next to it, too. It's called Ready in Five. Oh, I like that. And it's five eyeshadows, and again, very neutral. And the glitters were not super glittery. So that's what I got at Ulta. And that's my haul, you guys. Um, I'm very excited and also extremely hungry. I need to have something to eat, but um, I'm excited to get this whole little refresh done. Um, it, was, it was a nice afternoon out to treat myself and just take my time and shop around and look at all the fun things, right? I love doing that. I don't do it often enough. I go to a store and I'm just like in such a hurry, right? And I'm just in and out, in and out. I don't love the crowds and everything, but today was good. Today was a good day. So yeah, I'm going to get something to eat and we're going to freshen it up in here, you guys. Okay, you guys, my bathroom is not super large, but this is the little space that I'm going to put the um, shoe rack slash footstool slash now um, <laughs> toilet tree holder right under the, the um, towel rack here. I'd have to be careful because my art is probably not um, YouTube approved, but that's where um, I'm going to put it. So there's the before. Okay, and there's the, well, not after, but I feel like that's going to be a great location to reach over for bath salts and um, sponges and things like that. Pretty happy with it. Also, I have re recorded, I have ordered a set of lenses that are compatible with my phone to help make it like more wide angle so I can get better angles in here, but they don't come until Monday. And I hope to have this video up by then. But uh, yeah, so let's make it pretty in here. Hey you guys, Friday night in. I know how to party like a rock star. Hashtag thug life. But I wanted to show you how my little refresh turned out in the evening light because I love how cozy and wonderful everything turned out. Oh, hello. Hips, she got hips, okay. Here we go, we're gonna go in the bathroom first. Hi. So I need a wide angle lens, but this turned out so stinking cute. If I sat down on the toilet, <laughs> you would get a much better view. But I love my little hair towels there. I've got my Epsom salt, sugar scrubs, lotion, and then down at the bottom, extra TP, shower cap. Behind the shower cap is like, um hair scrubs and hair masks. And then I have a million of those Ikea plants. So great to use one right there. I think it turned out great. It's gonna be perfect. So excited about that. Okay, now the bedroom. You guys, my bedroom I think is gotta be my favorite space for sure. Look at the, oh, hi sweet boy. <laughs> It is just so cozy in here. Hang on, let's get a better view. It is so cozy in here, you guys. Look at that cute boy. He's so cozy. But these sheets, you guys, look how beautiful these sheets are. They were $20. $20. I love them so much. But yes, my bedroom, my glam station. One of the next things I would love to get, you guys, honestly, I have had that dresser since like I was a teenager. So sometime in the eighties, I would love to buy a pretty new dresser, but I mean, it's functional. So I've just taken it everywhere with me, but look at, look at the sheets. You guys, I'm so thrilled. Also, I love him. Sweetest dog in the whole wide world. Look at this. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba Ganoush. I love him. He's so sweet. I said that five times. C clearly, I do. But yes, I love my bedroom. Rock. And, uh, yes, scents are a problem. I love to read. There you go. 
All right, love this. Love this so much. It's been a really, really great day. All right, this is the outro. I'm sitting in front of the computer, so hopefully the lighting is okay. It's been a really, really good day. I found some really great things that made me very happy, not expensive. The other thing that came, you guys, did I mention? I'm such a nerd. I love a trackball mouse. And ever since I started working from home, I just had one of those, those mice that you just, and it makes me insane. So I finally got a trackball mouse, you guys. And it's just like one of those little things that makes you so happy. Kind of like a cupcake. It's time for a cupcake. You know what? Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys, on this uh, <sighs> mental health day. Um, if you like what you've seen here, like some shop with me's, some refreshes, just some, you know, real talk about real life, I would love it if you hung around, like and subscribe. I would love if you shared my content with your friends and family, you know, people who could totally relate and, and get some enjoyment out of this. So, okay, Friday night, it's, uh, you guys, nine o'clock. I told you I'm a golden girl. I'm a golden girl. So it is just about my bedtime. I'm going to go wash my face, go crawl into that gorgeous, soft, cozy, frilly bed with three adorable pups. And I wish you sweet dreams. I'll catch you on the next one.